dirt off my hand. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm a filmmaker, photographer, and last but definitely not least, just another kid that wants to make it here on YouTube. Recently, I challenged myself to post two videos a week. And whether that be a win or lose, I know that I could learn or take something from this no matter what. So far, it's been really tough. I've noted and noticed some changes so far on this journey, so that's what I wanted to talk about and share with you guys. Especially the negative thoughts and experiences that happen to tag along with me on this ride. Before we begin, let's just take a moment to soak this all in. In an environment like this, you can't just help but to open up and share your thoughts, right? And trust me, lots of thoughts have been stored in these past few weeks. So I'm letting everything out. So two videos a week, just record two videos in a week. No big deal, right? It isn't as easy as it sounds. It's actually harder to stumble across those ideas than ever before. But since then, I pulled out my camera more often than before just so I can keep on capturing in order to keep on creating. Honestly, I'm happy that the camera has been out more now. Whether that be planned or unplanned, that's seconds, minutes, moments that wouldn't have been captured if I had not done so. That goes without say that I have to push through the embarrassment. Because think about it, it's not every day that you see someone walking around with a camera, talking to it, you're going to stand out. In fact, that's kind of happening right now. There's a trail around me, people are walking by, and I am wary still. But you just have to do it. Not many people mind, and usually people continue with their day. But there are people who come up and approach me. Most people react the same way. They take a look at my channel, glance over it, and whether they subscribe or not, most of the interactions are friendly and end well. Now for the negative bit from what I experienced so far. First is I get asked, how many subscribers do I have? And when they hear the number or look at that number, it's like they're disappointed that they didn't get to meet some super famous guy. But that's okay. That's not my goal anyway. Second, two uploads a week. I've been busier and I haven't been able to do the same things routinely that I've done before. Acquaintances, friends, family. Now they're wondering, what am I up to? What happened to my time? And now that my camera's out more often, some of them might catch what I'm doing. And usually since I keep this to myself, opinions, whether it be positive or negative, are bound to be heard from both sides. And since these people care about me, both come out of love. But man, does it sting when I hear the negative. It's not realistic. You have to be lucky. What are you going to be doing after you fail? Are you sure you really want to do this? It just is really disappointing to hear. Third is very rare, but it's happened to me before and likely to happen again if I continue on this journey. I was having fun vlogging my trip in Austin and a man approached me, insisting that I was recording him and even wanting to look over the footage. Even then, wanting me to delete it completely. Look, if you're not wanting to be in anyone's video, I completely get it, I understand. I even opted to blur him out if I used the footage. Still, he was saying that he just couldn't trust me, believing I had ill intent. I honestly just had no idea what his issue was. Trust me, after an interaction like that, I will remember. Because something like that just never really happens at all. My whole vibe was kind of killed after that. And it got me anxious to pull out my camera in public ever again for the rest of that trip. But I had to remember, this was a rare instance and only was to happen once in a blue moon. 
Even through the negative experiences, I have to remind myself that, hey, no, there are people out there that support you and don't mind what you're doing and enjoy what you create. So pay no attention to those eyeing you. Like what I find so cool is I have you guys who consistently come here onto my channel. For example, my friend Bryce always wanting to be the first commenter. Even bigger YouTubers like Kay still supports small creators like me. My good friend Rachel almost catching every single video I put out. That's right, you have competition, Lolly. <laughs> I'm seriously thankful though. She tries to watch every single one of my videos. Also, a subscriber from a while ago, specifically from my Korean festival video, commented on one of my most recent videos and that totally caught me off guard. So Yasmina, you win that award. Moments like these, the people that support what I do, it pretty much outshines all the negative and like kicks it to the curb. Oh yeah, speaking of kicking, by the way, just kick that like button but like not to the curb, so you know, just helps me out a little bit. If you're wanting to ever try out something new, just go for it. And if those negatives ever come your way, just pause and remind yourself the positives and where you are on your journey. I can guarantee you, most of the time, those positives will outweigh the negatives. And if this is your passion, you and I both know that your love can't die or be taken down so easily. I can't explain it, but every time you're taken down, you just can't help but to get back up. And just a little note for me here, I am currently at 340 subscribers, almost to 350. And before anyone says anything, I know I've only uploaded one video per week of the past two weeks. I have an explanation for that. Not to create an excuse for myself, but I had friends visiting town for that week and only managed to complete these so far. But no worries, we will get back on track. I managed to get a lot of vlog footage that week of us together, so hopefully that'll translate well into a video. I'll think of something. So to my regular viewers, how was this format? It's definitely different and not what I usually do. So let me know what you think. Just wanted to release some thoughts before I get back to my program. Still believe that this is one of the best way, hands down. Thank you so much for watching and making it all the way to the end here. Love you guys and have a blessed day. Peace.